So the always on display feature that Apple ended up implementing is super cool, but there are some tricks and tips that I would love to go ahead and showcase to you all that you should definitely, you know, start looking into if you're rocking your always on display on your 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, or some other iPhones in the future. Now, currently, one of the most important things that I would recommend 100% doing, sorry that the wallpaper is so bright, is within iOS 16.2. So if you're currently not on iOS 16.2, it should be coming out by the time this video is out. If not, it's going to be released very, very soon. And there is a very important feature within this update that I would recommend you all to know about. So this specific feature is the ability of actually turning off the wallpaper and notifications, if you have any, that come up within the display. So the reason why this is so cool is this is, has been, I think, one of the biggest complaints from a majority of people is that they don't want people seeing their wallpaper or their you know, notifications or anything like that as they're going through their day. So what you can do now is basically make your way over to your settings application, just like so. You want to scroll down until you see display, which is right here, and brightness. And then what you can do is scroll down. And before, when there would just be the always on display option, you can click here and it brings you two new options. So these two new options are show wallpaper and show notifications. So now what you can do is if you want the wallpaper to be shown, you can go ahead and just keep these two enabled, then you're good. But if you want the wallpaper to be off, what you can do is click on that show wallpaper to be off and watch what happens. When I shut my phone, the wallpaper is completely shut off. Now, if I have notifications, it's still going to show the notifications, I believe, at the bottom. But that is basically it. Now, I just noticed this bar down here, too. I guess if you swipe up or something, it takes you straight back into where you were, which is kind of interesting. So that is a really cool thing. Now, you also have the same thing with show notifications as well. So if you don't want people seeing the notifications, you can just click off right there and look at that. Now, notifications will also be off as well, which is so cool. Now, I think we just saw something new as well. So I guess if you want to go ahead and jump straight into the application you were just in without having to double click and unlock your phone, you can just swipe up and it should take you back right into your display. So that's actually something cool too. I didn't know about that. So if you were interested in that, I mean, now you can just swipe up from the bottom and it brings you straight into the display before, I guess, you had to go ahead, double tap the display, turn your phone on, then swipe up. But now what you can do, I guess, is just swipe up from the bottom and you're good to go. I never noticed that before. So that's another really cool thing. Now, for the rest of this video, we'll just keep these two on. Another big thing, and one of the only other things we can really do on our always on display, is set up basically different focus modes on our displays. So before, if you wanted to, like with your lock screens, you can go and set up this wallpaper or this wallpaper, but did you know you can actually set up different focus modes on your displays as well? So if, so if I have this wallpaper on, I can actually set it to where I can set a specific focus mode on this wallpaper. So now I can go ahead and choose work, sleep, whatever. Now the reason why that's important is because when you change your wallpaper, it always it also changes your always on display option as well. So now look, the always on display is now changed, but also the focus mode is changed as well. So that's another really cool thing that we have the ability of doing. So now the final thing, I guess, is with the widgets. So widgets are always going to be persistent with your iPhone wallpaper. So that is also going to correspond with your always on display as well. So here, what I would recommend doing is going through and customizing these widgets to exactly what you want them to be done. Now, iOS 16.2 does bring a few more widgets. I think it's the sleep widget and the medication widget as well. So if you're interested at all of those specific widgets, well, now you have the ability of changing those. So now what you can do is basically scroll down and you can choose whatever widgets you wanted to choose before. So in this case, we'll just choose 72 or whatever. We'll choose whatever other ones we want to. And now whenever you're done, you can even put your battery widget there as well. So in this case, I'll remove this one and I'll go ahead and add my battery status there as well. And now look, I can quickly get a glance of my battery of my iPhone before I even turn my iPhone on. So now on your iPhone wallpaper, on your always on display, You'll be able to see the time, all this other stuff, but you'll also be able to see the battery right there as well, which is actually so cool on top of that. So those are just some of my favorite tricks and tips that you can definitely check out with your always on display. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly with everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.